Hello my fellow creators, today is a short story of a life of an artist. So when I started my arts journey three years ago, I made a lot of research and study about what medium I will pursue, either acrylic, oil, or watercolor. So first I tried the acrylic and I love the texture of the finished painting in a canvas but I found out that it's not the things I really wanted also the oil painting so when I started watercolor I've got already that close connection to this medium and I told myself that this is it the first thing as a watercolor artist is to think of what materials I will be using. So first is what watercolor brand that is suitable for me and what watercolor brushes because there's a lot of different kinds of brushes in the store and also what kinds of books that I will read as a reference guide and also what subject I will be focusing myself to paint and last is what are palettes that is really good in mixing the colors so those are the things that played an important part in my study and research. So for a self-taught artist like me, it's a lot of studies, reviews, and practice. And it's not that easy, and it's very confusing. So in my early reviews, I already shared about my watercolor brand and my watercolor brushes. So I will uh, write down below the, the link so that you can go back to that videos. So today, I will be talking about the color palette that I am using. So first, this is just part of my palette, but the most uh, useful for me. So I have this plastic palette and I put the Shinhan RPWC watercolor here. I have this uh, ordinary uh, appetizer plate that I bought in kitchen stuff. This is also ceramics. I have also the um, the flower daisy ceramic palette it has a lovely divisions and it has seven wells and goods for mixing also I love this to put my greens because um, greens are very difficult to mix and I have this metal palette which is I've got this um, this is a tray for a Japanese teacup. And last but not the least is my Tom Lynch ceramic palettes. But before I talk to this palette, let's talk about the other palettes that I show you. So let's talk about this metal palette. So metal palette is similar to um, the ceramic palettes I love this also because you can put lots of water here and then you can mix two colors and you can see it doesn't build up the water or the color you can see it's you can see the whole area or the whole thing and mix it up with the, with the blue. Oops, too much blue. I'll put some more of this. 
to come out with the purple color. So I love the metal tin palette also because you can see the colors right away. Yeah, so I can see my colors right away. And you can mix like um, separate. I love this metal thin. You see the the water flows and it stays. Okay, you can see. You can see the blues right away. And when you if you want to lighten up the the blue, you can just put white on it. And you see the the lighter shade of the blue. So this is the metal tin palette. So let's talk about this appetizer uh, porcelain palette. You can see the water when you mix it and it expands and you see or you can visualize the color. It doesn't build up, it stays there. Uh, this is ceramics now let's talk about this plastic palette so this is Shinhan Art PWC uh, watercolor so you can see this is a dried um, mix of, of colors and you see it's like beads up or like a dots of colors so I'll show you so when I mix the green All I can see is just beads up of water. It doesn't flow and or it doesn't spread. It's like forming just dots of water. And let's see this one. See? I don't use this in particular, this palette. This is a new plastic palette. Some I saw in YouTube that they scrub it with um, paper sand, but I don't use it or I don't do it right now so this is a plastic palette and you, as you can see it's just building up of dots of water mm. so it's not my type of mixing uh, mixing palette so that is the Shinhan art. Let's talk about the Tom Lynch uh, ceramic palette.
So this is a Tomlin ceramic palette and it made by Richardson Art Company and I ordered it at Amazon.ca. It has 19 wells, so six wells on the sides, on both sides, and then seven wells on the top. It has a long one on this side. So I put extra colors in here. And as you can see, there is a holder for my brush and the top here. So I put my brush to keep it safe or to keep it away from my working area. So that's what I did. I put my, sh my brushes here. So this is good, good um, thing also. I pattern my watercolor from from light to dark or from dark to light and this is professional watercolor by Windsor and Newton and I use this palette in particular to my uh, online school and it is the Ana Mason tutorial school there is a large mixing area or open area and I can mix a certain color paint mixes on the other side and the other side corner I mix a different color also and without worrying if it will mess up with others so I love this um, porcelain palette wherein I can dissolve different paint and put up lots of waters and mix them and with that I'm able to visualize the different things uh, for example I'll mix the lemon yellow and then mix it up with the burn umber or burn shiana and from there I can see the different tints of colors in here um, and also I have some room to mix my purples and my reds in the other area like for example I will mix my crinacidone um, purple in here and I mix it with my crinacidone red I love playing with my colors like that to come out with the intense color of reds and you can see the water is just flowing and also I have other rooms to mix my greens or my blues on the other side This is my blues. So I'm just playing with my colors. But you can see how good if your mixing areas are wide and white and it's in a ceramic. So in the ceramic palettes, the color stays there and you can visualize the color before you start to use it so in the ceramic palettes the colors expands and you can visualize the colors before you use it and when you come back the color stays there unlike in the plastic palette where in the color doesn't spread and it's contract so this is my best palette. The color flows and running and it accommodates large brushes 
and the paint when it dries it stays spread I hope you enjoy watching my videos and you learn something about the different kinds of watercolor palette so I'm just tilting up my my uh, ceramic palette to mix with this color it's so nice although this ceramic palette is heavy and you cannot bring it if you want to do your painting outside but I'm happy with this so enjoy everyone and I hope you had a good day and I'll see you again on my next video bye